we are going to look at the fast ways that you can determine if something is product or reactant favored. Now, remember the definition of product versus reactant favored. It really just goes back to equilibrium. At equilibrium, if you have more products than reactants, products are greater than reactants, it's product favored. And then vice versa, if you have more reactants than products, that is reactant favored. At equilibrium, remember, that doesn't mean equal amounts, it means equal rates. How I do this with my students is I will say, reactants go to products at a certain rate, and products go back to reactants at a rate. When those rates are equal, you have equilibrium. And when you hit that beautiful equilibrium, the amounts of the reactant and product, those are constant. Not the same, but constant. And when we compare the amounts of reactant to product in the equilibrium expression, K, products divided by reactants, um, that informs us, oh, do I have more or less? Do I have more reactants or more products when we're at this beautiful equilibrium, equal rates? So there are three fast ways that you can determine if you have a product or reactant favored reaction. First, product favored. You're looking at the K value. If you have more products than reactants, a bigger de numerator, excuse me, than denominator, K greater than one, boom you are product favored. Second, if delta G gives free energy, if that's negative, that means spontaneous, it is product favored. At equilibrium, you have more products. And then the last one is our E naught. If it's positive, our standard reduction potential, if that's positive, it means you have more products than reactants. And then the reverse of this, with our reactant favored. If K is less than one, you have more reactants, a bigger denominator than the numerator, K less than one, that's reactant favored. You've got more reactants than products. If positive delta G, non-spontaneous, gives free energy, reactant favored. And a negative E naught, a negative standard reduction potential, you have a reactant favored uh, reaction. So fast ways looking at your K value, delta G and standard reduction potential, you have any one of those three, you can answer you know, everything else and you can answer the question, is this reactant or product favored? Well, great work. Thank you for being here. Please like and subscribe Old School Chemistry and have a great day. Great day. God bless you. Bye.